Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're diving into Luxembourg, one of the wealthiest countries in the world and home to some of the highest salaries in Europe. So whether you're considering moving to Luxembourg for work or you're just curious, I've got all the details for you. From the top 10 highest paid jobs to the lowest paid jobs in 2024, plus what it's like to live there, the cost of living insights, visa options and more. So stick around for the full scoop. If you're new, I'm Ashika and I talk about moving across the world to work or study. And with that, let's dive in. So Luxembourg is a financial hub with a strong economy and the average salary here is quite high. As of 2024, the average monthly salary in Luxembourg is around 5,200 euros gross. That's 62,400 annually before taxes. Now, while that does sound amazing, keep in mind that the cost of living here is also on the higher side, which we'll get to in a little bit. Let's get right into it. The top highest paid jobs in Luxembourg in 2024, along with the average annual salaries. And these are the roles that bring in the big bucks. Surgeons or doctors earn anywhere from 150,000 to 250,000 euros. Lawyers or legal professionals get 120 to 180,000 euros. IT directors or chief technology officers earn anywhere from 140,000 to 200,000 euros per year. Investment bankers earn anywhere from 130,000 to 180,000 a year. And finance managers earn anywhere from 110,000 to 170,000 euros a year. CEOs earn anywhere from 150,000 to 220,000 a year. And pharmacists earn anywhere from 90,000 to 120,000 euros a year. Engineers, which are civil, mechanical, and electrical, earn anywhere from 80 to 120,000 euros a year. Software engineers make from 85,000 to 130,000 euros a year. And university professors make anywhere from 70,000 to 110,000 euros per year. Now, as you can see, Luxembourg is a paradise for high paying careers, especially if you are in finance, tech, or healthcare. But on the other side, let's look at some of the lowest paid jobs in Luxembourg. Even though these roles may not pay as high, the minimum wage is still quite decent compared to many other countries. Dishwashers or kitchen helpers make anywhere from 22,000 to 26,000 euros a year. Waiters and waitresses make anywhere from 23,000 to 28,000 euros a year. Retail cashiers make anywhere from 24,000 to 30,000 euros. Cleaners or janitors make anywhere from 22,000 to 27,000 euros. Security guards make anywhere from 26 to 32,000 euros. Childcare workers earn between 25,000 and 30,000 euros. Delivery drivers earn between 24,000 and 30,000 euros. Receptionists earn between 25 and 32,000 euros. Factory workers between 25 and 34,000 and bartenders between 24,000 and 30,000 euros. So even for some of the lower paid roles, the salary is still relatively high considering the high quality of life that Luxembourg offers. Now let's talk about the cost of living because it plays a big part in understanding how far these salaries can stretch. In 2024, the cost of living for a single person is about 2,500 to 3,000 euros per month, depending on your lifestyle and where you live. For a family of four, you're looking at around 5,500 to 7,000 euros per month, including rent, groceries, transportation, and utilities. Now, rent can be a major expense, especially in the capital, Luxembourg City. A one-bedroom apartment in the city centre can cost you around 1,800 to 2,500 a month, while outside the city, it's around 1,300 to 1,800. So even though the salaries are high, so are the living costs, especially if you plan on moving with your family. If you're a foreigner looking to work in Luxembourg, you'll be glad to know that there are plenty of opportunities, especially in certain sectors. The easiest jobs to apply for for foreigners are in finance, IT, legal services because these industries are thriving in Luxembourg and they are always on the lookout for international talent. Other sectors like hospitality, retail and construction also hire foreigners but they typically offer lower salaries. Keep in mind, Luxembourg is a multilingual country and speaking French, German or Luxembourgish can be a huge advantage although English is always usually sufficient for jobs in finance and IT. Some of the top companies in Luxembourg actively recruiting foreigners include Amazon, Deloitte, PwC, Clearstream, which is basically Deutsche Post, Lux Air, Ferrero, RTL Group, ArcelorMittal, European Investment Bank or EIB, and SES. These companies are known for hiring international talent, especially in roles related to finance, technology, logistics, and consulting. So, how do you actually get to Luxembourg for work? Here are the main visa options for foreigners. There's a work visa. If you have a job offer from a company in Luxembourg, you can apply for a work visa. There's also the EU Blue Card. This is for highly qualified workers it allows, and it allows you to work across the EU. There's the intra-company transfer permit for people transferring from a company's branch outside Luxembourg to a branch within the country. Now, Luxembourg has a relatively streamlined process for getting work visas, especially if you're coming from within the EU. Non-EU citizens will need to go through more steps, but it is totally possible, especially for high demand fields. Now, that's a wrap on today's video for the top 10 highest and lowest paid jobs in Luxembourg. We've covered everything from salaries to the cost of living to the best jobs for foreigners and visa options. 
So if you're thinking about moving to Luxembourg or just curious, I hope this video was helpful and gave you some tangible insights. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more such content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.